Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at another problem in our array series called uh, leader of an array. So before starting, let me first of all tell you that um, this question is uh, super super important. All right, and has come in many interview problems and coding rounds. So let's uh, look at it. So first of all, let's talk about um, what is a uh, leader of an array. So an element is you know called leader of an array if there is no element um, greater than it on the right side. All right. So let's talk with an example here. Okay. So what we are going to do here is see the last element of an array is always going to be um, leader, right? Because there is no element to the right side of it. So it is going to be there okay two is there then we see five we see that um five is the uh, there's no greater element uh, than five at the right side all right so uh, we write five also then we look at six we see that the greater um the there's no greater element than six on its right side so six is also a leader now if we see um look at three we see that six is are greater than 300 is at the right side of three so three is not going to be a leader similarly with four six is uh, greater than 400 the right side of it so it is also not going to be leader then we look at 10 so there is no element at the right side of 10 which is greater than it so 10 is also a leader now if you look at seven we see that 10 is greater than it and it is at the right side of it so same is also not going to be a leader. Hence, you can see that our output is going to be 10, 6, 5, and 2. All right. Now, now what we see here is another example. I already told you like the last element is going to be, you know, uh, leader. So 30 is the leader. And if you look at 20, 20 is not a leader. 10 is also not a leader because you can reduce it on your own. Right. Now, let's talk about how you can solve this problem okay so the basic algorithm here is very simple what we're going to do is we are going to have a variable array leader all right and we'll uh, run a loop from this element okay we'll do uh, we'll run the loop from this element till the first element the so second last element till the first element and we are going to have a variable called you can call it anything let's call it current leader so see two is anyhow going to be the current leader in any case so we'll just you know have a c out two here and uh, then what we'll want to do we are going to store the current leader as two now we are going to we are going to do what we are going to traverse the loop from here till here and we are going to check if the current element of an array is you know greater than the leader if it is greater than the leader we are see we will you know uh, print that element and then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, change the current leader value to that number okay and this is how we will uh, traverse the loop let's have a try case or uh, test case here dry run so let's have current leader as two now r i is what um one two three four five six zero one two three four five five all right so at five uh five r a five mm, it is greater than you know currently number so what we are going to do we are going to print five okay and we are going to change cf5 okay so now we have cs5 we will decrement our i by you know one i will become four now at i is equal to four six it is greater than five so we'll you know print six 
now r c becomes 6 r i becomes 3 at i is equal to 3 we have element 3 no change would be here now i will become 4 uh, i will become 2 we will decrementing i so i2 is also not greater than 6 so no no okay now we'll have i as you know 1 so at 1 element is what 10 so we we'll print 10 6 5 and 2 is already there as c we'll print 10 we'll change c as you know what 10 I would become zero now, right? And we'll see that I zero, which is seven, is not greater than C. We are decrement I, and we'll come out of the loop. And what we have printed here is two, five, six, and ten. All right. So this is the working of this algorithm, and we have discussed the try case. Now let's um, dive into coding. Okay. So I. I am guessing like you might have you know understood the coding and it would be recommended that you um, do the coding part on your own but for the sake of understanding better I am still going to code it all right so let's um, have the header files Okay, now let's have our end main. Mm, okay, let's have int AR as what was our as seven, ten, four, three, six, five. Okay, so this is, our, this is going to be our int array. Now let's um, call our function as leaders. Now this function is going to have parameter as ar, comma, size of it. Size of this array is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, right? Okay, now let's write our like this let's have it ar let's have this okay now what did i say let's have a variable cr current leader cl and we'll assign it to the last element we are just going to simply see out cl right okay yes because see we are always going to have this element as a leader so we are just simply going to print it inside the loop now what did i tell you we'll run the loop from n minus 2 right i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus now if at any point cl is less than our array i what we're going to do we're going to change value of a cl as our r i and we're just going to simply see out cl okay okay and yeah that one minute so you can see the better output I'm having in Dell after every line here. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's it. That's uh, the whole code here. So here we have, you know, void leaders where uh, we declared a variable CL, which is our current leader right and first we have to clear we have assigned it as our last element and we have submitted uh cl right and what we have done we have run a loop here 
from n minus 2 till last uh, till first element and we're decrementing our i at every after every iteration and if at any point our current leader is uh, smaller than our array element we're simply putting the changing the value of our current leader as the array i and we're just simply uh, printing it right so yeah this was the whole code of our leader array question so as i told you earlier this is a very important question so see um let's um let me tell you a little bit of advice here that questions like this like after you know seeing the solution you might have wondered like this is a easy question and most of the questions are like this but it's just like you, you don't you know you don't find the algorithm to how to you know you know you don't uh, think like you cannot think uh, the solution so that is the main thing here if you find the algorithm like how you will uh, come up with the solution then that's great all right so uh, that's it yeah so that's it for this video and we'll see you next time thank you